Volvo have officially unveiled yet another all-new EV, the Volvo EX30. But will this new addition be a worthy addition to the EV world, or is it simply just an added extra? Let's find out. Volvo have set it upon themselves to be climate neutral by 2040. To achieve this goal, then they aim for all new Volvo models to be all electric by 2030. Now, work has already started to achieve this goal with the release of the C40 and also the all-electric XC40. They have also recently added the all-electric 7-seater in the EX90, which you'd think over a few years will replace the XC90. However, they have just officially released their latest addition to their all-electric lineup, the EX30. This is set to be Volvo's smallest ever SUV and also the car with the lowest footprint out of the whole Volvo range. Now, you might be thinking at that start and thinking, well, if it's the smallest SUV, then surely it's going to compromise on style, design, performance. Well, in matter of fact, that is where you're wrong because Volvo have used the EX30 perfectly. It's almost like a blueprint to how cars can be in the future by making them more compact, which in hand reduces the car's carbon footprint, makes them lighter, and also allows for more recycled materials. But they have also made the performance better than previous Volvo SUVs gone by because the EX30 is the fastest SUV that Volvo have ever released with recorded 0 to 60 time of just 3.6 seconds. The EX30 will come with two battery options and also the option to have two electric motors or one depending on the performance and range that you need out of the car. Now, two battery options that Volvo have put in the car are quite interesting because one of the battery options is called LFP and the other is called N. MC. The reason for these two battery options is to allow customers to choose what's more cost effective to them. Do they want something more powerful or do they want a slightly cheaper option to make the EX30 more accessible to more people? And ultimately, both these batteries are using very enhanced chemistry to form these batteries to ensure that the EX30 has the least carbon footprint out of all Volvo models to date. The EX30 actually has a 25% less carbon footprint than its XC40 counterpart. But the interesting fact about that is it's not actually 25% smaller than the XC40. Now, sticking to the idea that the X30 has the smallest carbon footprint out of all Volvo models, well, the interior is made primarily of recycled materials with a dashboard actually being made out of recycled jeans. Points like this just make the EX30 seem like a really innovative car and maybe will make other manufacturers look at it and be a model to cars of the future. And sticking with the interior, well, Volvo have been very clever with design. We know that with a Volvo interior, we're going to get luxury, we're going to get premium, we're going to get nice designs. And you certainly get that on the EX30. Now, obviously, with it being the smallest SUV, they've had to be a bit clever by using the space. For example, the speakers in the EX30, it's just one. You don't have multiple speakers. You just have one along the dashboard. Now, what this allows, it means you can get more storage in your doors. You can get more storage in the center console. They've used that base wisely. One of the interesting things I like to point out about the interior of the EX30 is it doesn't have a digital drive display. You just have the infotainment screen in the middle. Now, you might be thinking, well, where's all the driving information? You know, that seems a bit lackluster, seems a bit cheap. Well, don't let that put you off because the EX30 is very innovative in its technology. That infotainment screen houses all that you need, your driving information, your built-in navigation, your Apple CarPlay and smartphone connectivity. Also houses your 360 parking cameras and the fact that this car can park itself with that parking assistance. The EX30 interior also houses sensors. So these sensors pick up if they think the driver needs to take a break and will actually direct you to a near rest stop. Features like that, which we saw on the EX90, then really enhanced safety features, will come with the EX30, which just seems like a massive step in the right direction for Volvo. Now, coming back to that battery, and you're probably thinking it would have been all electric. What's the recharge time? And also, what's the top electric range? Well, the top electric range on the EX30 is 298 miles. It can actually use a fast charger up to 150 kilowatts, allowing you to get from 10 to 80% in just 25 minutes. The EX30 will also come with another spec being called the Cross Country, which is more of an off-roader type vehicle because you get that added extra of roof bars and will also come with exterior protection on the front and back bumper and also the wheel arches. So if you need a car to travel a bit further, then, well, the EX30 Cross Country country could be the car for you so then there you have it the volvo xc30 a revolutionary all-electric vehicle which is volvo's smallest ever suv 